Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out your guys' solar systems but before we get into that I just want to quickly mention there was a little update um, just now um, which I literally just installed like I don't know 10 minutes ago so it added these two new simulations in so if I just get up the um, page I have here so it's called the um, hy hyperbolic trajectory uh, or hyperbolic update I think is how you pronounce it and it's um alpha 20.7 now so we're still not alpha 21 which kind of sucks but it basically adds in um these retrograde objects and these hyper um bolic traje trajectory um objects so if you guys remember that really weird shaped um really weird shaped asteroid it came in and it's now leaving the solar system i think that is in here now so let's see if we can find it so here we go so if you just um read the menu in here and um, pause it if you want to read it but yeah there it is there so yeah this is pretty cool so we have this, so it's this guy here. So this is tiny, this is tiny little thing here. So if you want to read that, yeah, pause it, but pretty cool. So it looks like an asteroid that's approached our system, has been uh, trapped in our system for a while. So pretty cool stuff. So this is almost, this is around the age of the whole solar system. So that's quite cool. So there it is there. So cool. So how far away is this from the sun anyway? So okay so it's in between Jupiter and saturn okay i should actually add that to my um custom solar system simulation it's going in the um wrong direction as well okay cool and then the other one was this one the interstellar object so yeah it's this thing and i i cannot pronounce this but it's the omnum the one beginning with an o this thing here now does it have a custom texture oh they didn't add a custom texture for it because this is the object with a really like the really really rec or not rectangle the oh no it is a rectangle like the really really long object which is really weird it is this thing here and they've also changed some of the menu here that you can see um oh my god look at all the oh wow this looks so different <laughs> looks they've changed everything wow yeah so there's a few little tweaks in here it's going to take a t bit of time to get used to it oh, okay that's going to get annoying right temperature and composition are now swapped i don't it didn't used to be like that oh that's going to get so annoying to um play around with Oh, it looks so weird, all this. Yeah, it's definitely different. So, yeah, there it is this. It's got this absolutely insane orbit. Well, it's not even an orbit. It just came in the system, and now it's leaving the system. It's a pretty um, crazy object there, but, yeah, there it is if you want to see that. So, yeah, enough of that. So there's that little update they added. And they also did bug fixes, and obviously they added these menus that look different now. But, anyways, let's get into this. So the system I'm checking out today is called the Lum Lumpifer system and it's from um, Sam Dumb Gamer so I'll leave a link to him down below like I do with everyone when I do these videos so I'll leave a link to him down below so we'll check out the Lum Lumpifer system I really hope I'm saying it right but you know I'm bad at pronouncing so okay so L M plus L is it L P and what, what how, do, how do you pronounce this thing let me look it up uh that's L Y okay so it's L Y okay L Y so where is it here? So this system here. Right, so let's um have a look here. Okay, here we go. So look at this. So this is um I believe is gonna have a lot of custom objects in it, because obviously it's some damn gamer. He um he's a modder, so yeah, you can already see a dark custom trail here, so that's quite cool. But anyways, let's begin like we always do with this. So here is Lumberfar, this is the main star. A lot larger than, or it's um, lar not a lot larger, but it's larger than our sun, mass and radius. I'm assuming it's brighter, hotter temperature. Yes, it is brighter. Oh my god, it looks so weird having all the menu different. So here's the sun for comparison right there. But they've, uh, still, they've added the new update, right, guys? And they still haven't changed this Planet 9. Come on, we know, it needs to be my Planet 9 on that picture there. <laughs> Come on, game. We need, we need that. So yeah, there is the star. Okay, so let's see what we've got first. So not too many objects in here, but this should be quite a short but sweet system. So let's see here. So here we have got um, Lumpafar B. I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. So it looks like a cold. I oh, know it's not cold. No, no, no. It looks like I. It looks quite icy here. But no, no, it's at 70 degrees. This guy. Calculated radius. I guess this is what I'm guessing. This is radius from composition. I think that meant oh, that option is now this. Yeah, I think that's um, the same option. It's just it's called something different now. Okay, so here's its composition. So it's a completely water world. Okay, let's see what it is underneath. So yeah, it's a very, very light blue sort of atmosphere. That's a new color, actually, I could add to the list of templates. I believe that is a really, really light blue. So yeah, we could use that as a new template, which is looking quite cool. So we call it like sky blue or something like that. Okay, so here we also have an asteroid belt. So if we just go on flashlight mode and get a real good look at it. So there you go. 
There is the little asteroid belt there. So nice little um, asteroids there. I believe this menu's changed as well, slightly. But I don't know about that, so... Yeah, there is that. Okay, so now, this is the last object, I believe, in the system. So it's quite a small little system here, but let's see what we've got. There's a lot of objects in here, so this is um, the main focus. So, oh, it's got a little asteroid or a little um, ring system around it as well. Very nice. So, let's go back to realistic mode. No, I believe this is a um, this is a brown dwarf um, custom object. Let me just compare it, because um, yeah, Sundown Gamer gave me a brown dwarf object. And yeah, it is. So yeah, this, I believe, is supposed to be a brown dwarf. So if I just put the one he gave me here. Yeah, so I believe this is a brown dwarf. Well, it's meant to represent a brown dwarf here. So, Lumpur for C. Okay, so here it is here. So very, very dark, maroony red sort of colour. So very, very nice indeed. So also got the ring system there. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So we've got Lumpur for C MS1. So that's the first little one. Then we've got MS2, also a little thing there. We don't need to zoom in on them since they're very small. We've also got number three as well. Then next up we've got, okay, so this is CS1. Okay, so this, yeah, I've seen this as well. This is a very, very bright um, object, as you can see here. So I believe, um, actually, I can't remember um, how he got this. I remember he told me, but I can't remember how we got this. But yeah, I, I also have an um, object like this saved somewhere as well, which is quite cool. But yeah, this is a very, very bright object, as you can see. So if we just look at the um, temperature, I'll see it reflects first tips and a light as well there. So yeah, but look how bright this is. So if you put it close to the star, it's really bright. But if you put it further away, it's just really dim. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, this really, really bright um, reflecting object. I believe if you turn up some of the settings in the files, it makes them like this. So that's really cool. So yeah, that is CS1. Next up we have CS2, so this is a lot darker object here, as we can see here, so it's all um, brown, or not brown, dark grey, and then a light grey there, so there is that. It's kind of useful, they added these options at the bottom now, auto orbit and zero velocity, that's quite a nice change, I like that. Um, let's see what else we've got, so CS3, so this one's very similar to the last one, it's got like a bit of a pinky sort of red colour there, as you can see. Okay, let's see what we've got next. Okay, so next object is this one, so MS4, so another little minor um, satellite there. Um, then we also have MS5, again, another little um, satellite object. Then we've got MS6, also another little um, asteroid. I'm guessing this is the next one. So this is number seven, same thing again. Obviously, they're all different sizes and radius. Then we've got number eight, then ten. This one's nine, there's nine. Well, 11 and then the last one is 12 so yeah there is all of the little um minor objects now is that it or is there anything else see it's sometimes you guys do add little things quite far away but it doesn't look like it on this case so we are going to zoom in and get a comparison of the whole system so let's do this so there we go so here we are so here's um all the objects you can see this this dark purple object is very very dark as you can see even next to the star, it doesn't do much. So then we've got um, B, then we've got um, the moons here. And now, wh where was this? Wait, did I miss something? Oh, oh, okay. I missed this. How did I miss this? Okay, so we've got this one here. So this is going with a red atmosphere colour. So BS1. So as you can see, a yeah, red atmosphere, mostly an ocean world, 57 degrees. So that would definitely be somewhere for tourists who really, really like some hot weather. So it's mostly ocean, though. So it's probably quite deep oceans here. So there it is, um, below the atmosphere and clouds. So there we go. And yeah, there's not really much land here. So if you're on flashlight mode, have a look around. Barely any land at all. Obviously, there's this would be the biggest continent here. Wow, yeah, not much land at all. So yeah, there is um, BS1. So yeah, sorry, I missed that one out. But yeah, there it is there. So it's in orbit of um, B, the little ice world looking one. Actually, let's get... Um, Let's um, go back out of this again. Let's get a nice little shot of um, around the planet. So let's land on the surface of this guy. Let's hit play. Wow, let's look how old this simulation is. 4.75G years. That's quite a lot of um, years. So um, let's um, speed this up. Let's get a cool little view here. So here we go. So let's land relative somewhere in the north here. No, not, not there. Let's land here. So somewhere above the ocean here. Okay, cool. Now if we look around, there's a star, and there's our planet, so there's a nice view. You can also see the other planet um, over there as well, the brown dwarf um, one. So let's um, turn all this off, get a real good look. So there is our planet, obviously you've got the red atmosphere there, there's our star. So yeah, pretty cool um, little simulation this. So let's um, obviously um, put them all in um, comparison again. So obviously yeah, the brown dwarf is massive compared to them all. 
Yeah, there's it's only a little it's a little smaller than Jupiter though. Jupiter's sixty nine thousand six hundred, I think. Let's um let's have a look quickly. Um yeah, Jupiter. Let's go to um get rid of that. Jupiter is six nine nine. This is six nine four. So yes, yeah, slightly smaller than Jupiter is. Um and then yeah, here is the rest of all the objects. So it's quite a lot of minor objects. This whole system is mostly made up of these. So yeah, there's a lot of those guys here. So yeah, there we go. So the smallest object is MS eleven. So. There's that, and obviously the largest is the star. So yeah, there guys, there is the whole Lumpafar system. So yeah, let us know what you think down below. So I'm pretty sure me and some dumb game will be interested to see what you have to um, say on this system. So if you've got any thoughts, opinions, suggestions for future systems that people are going to make, then leave them down below as well. And obviously, if you're new, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers, because that would be amazing. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So um, yeah, I will um, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.